Hi guys. As part of today's lab session, we will see how to connect the LED to the Arduino. So, as you see the Arduino board here, we have an LED with two terminals, the anode which is the positive terminal and the cathode which is the negative terminal. Your anode is typically longer than the cathode, just for your information. So what we will do is, we will connect the anode to pin number 4 of the Arduino and the cathode will be connected via a resistor to ground. This resistor is to limit the current. So that said, this is a fairly straightforward connection. Let's take a look at the Arduino board and how to make the connection on it. So here you have your LED. Now if you look at the, the LED very carefully, the longer terminal, which is this one, is the anode. This is the cathode. So we will connect the cathode to the resistor and the anode to another terminal on the breadboard. So this is connected. So this is your cathode, this is your anode. Now the next connection we have to make is pin number 4 which is this one, pin number 4 of your Arduino is connected to your anode which is here, this one. So the next terminal that we have to connect is the ground terminal to the cathode. Now the LED is just glowing, this is not blinking so we have to go to the program. So this is the program that we have. Now before you put the program onto the Arduino board, please confirm a few things. The board that you select must be the Arduino NG or older with Atmega 8. Now if you have a different Arduino board, you have to make sure you've selected the right Arduino board. And also you have to select the correct serial port. So how do you know which serial port your Arduino is connected to? So what you would do is, you would go to my computer, click on, right click on my computer and click on manage. Now you would click on device manager. And then you have the ports COM and LPT section that you would click on. And as you see that the USB to UART bridge, which is here, is on COM35 on my computer. On your computer, you have to see which terminal, which serial port this is connected to. So you would go ahead, click on tools, serial port, and then click on COM35. Okay. So again, it shows here where it is. Well, that's it. Let's go ahead and verify the program first. So after the program is verified, you go ahead and click on upload. it takes a few seconds to upload on the board. Now as you see on the board when it uploads the red light will blink the red LED here
Now this shows that it's getting programmed. You give it a couple of seconds before the Arduino starts functioning. And as you see that the LED has started to blink here. Now let's make a few small changes on the program. Currently in the program the delay is 500 milliseconds. Let's change that to an on time of 2500 milliseconds or 2.5 seconds. So it stays on for 2500 and it stays off for 0.5 seconds. So go ahead and click on upload. Again you have to give it a few seconds before this Arduino gets programmed. Now observe the output when it when it appears. You'll see a higher on time and a lower off time. Let's take a look see on, off, on. So the on time is more than the off time as we've seen in the program. So you can make some changes to the delay function and see what we do. Let's change the on time to 500 and the off time to 2500 and let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and upload again. So as you see the output now, which will shortly appear. The off time is more than the on time. So we made some basic changes to the program. Now you can make some more changes. So this was lab number one, which is the LED blinking. We will see you in the next lab. Thank you.